Hello everyone. Welcome back to Artificial Intelligence Sessions. In this session, we will discuss about optimal decision in games. So under that, we will first see the Minimax algorithm. So this is the case of a two-player game. And for multiple players, whenever we have multiple players, so then how to take the optimal decision in those games also, we will see. Let us get into the details. So first, let us see the Minimax algorithm followed by an example also we will see. So this is the Minimax algorithm. So what it will return is, it is returning you an action, argmax of actions and minimum value. Okay, so you are collecting all the minimum values and then you will apply a argmax on this. So, okay, it's better first I'll start with an example and I'll trace back to this algorithm. Okay, so this is how the Minimax algorithm will calculate the values at each node. Suppose if it is an utility node. Okay, so that is a terminal test. Okay, the last leaf node, if it is so. So, then simply we will be leaving the utility. Otherwise, you have to see what is the maximum of the actions. Okay. So, if it is a max player, so then to see the result, okay, and then whatever is the maximum value that you have to take, max player will always try to maximize the profit. So, among the results, whichever is maximum, that has to be taken by the max player. Similarly, the min player, so you ha he has to observe the result of any state with respect to all the actions, okay. In one state, suppose if you have two, three branches or two, three children. So then among all those children, whichever is giving you a better value, so that we will take as the result. And then what the min player has to do, he has to choose the minimum among all those. So now let's apply it on this particular example. So here always we have the leaf nodes at, we have values at the leaf nodes, right? Okay, always we start the values will be there at the leaf nodes, right? So this is what we are seeing. If it is a terminal test, then simply utility value will be returned. So here, here we have the utility values always at the leaf nodes. So now suppose if you take state B, okay. So what are the actions that he has? He has B1, B2, and B3. Three actions he has. And what is this node B? So Node B is a minimizing player. So what he has to do, he has to take the minimum, the result of minimax. So value 3 is collected here. I'll just here, show you here. So the values that will be returned here is 3, 12, and 8. So these three values are returned to this minimizing node. And here, the player has to pick a minimum value. So among these three, what is the minimum value? 3 is minimum. So that will become the value of this node. Okay, so initially value of V is minus infinity. Okay, so under actions, what he is doing? So V, okay, min, minimizing player. So what he has to do? Min has always has to pick a value V such that the result of S, from the result of S comma A, he has to see what is the maximum value. Okay, and what is the latest value V? Okay. So that he has to update. So initially this value is infinity. Okay. So from infinity, the result of max value. So that is 3. Infinity comma 3. So among this, what is the minimum value? 3. Right. So next time, what will be the result of this S comma A? So the result will be 12. And here the V value got updated to 3. So minimum of these three is again 3. Okay. So ne next time, what will happen? The result of S comma A. So it is 8. Okay. So V value is 3. It was not updated. And the latest value of this result of S comma A is 8. So among these two, minimum is 3. So that becomes the value of V, which we got here as the value of this player B. So similarly, at C. So C has three actions, C1, C2, and C3. Okay. So initially, when you start here, so here also you have a value of plus infinity only, okay? 
So infinity is compared with so two. So two is minimum. So this gets updated to two. And then this two is compared with four. Two only is minimum. Then six is compared with two. So two is a min minimum. So the value at C will become two. So similarly at the at D among 14, 5 and 2. So 2 is the minimum one. So 2 will be selected. And now coming to A. So A is a maximizing player. So what he has to do. So the maximizing player, the initial value will be minus infinity. And then what he has to do. He has to select maximum of V. That is minus infinity comma the min value result, whatever we have obtained. What is the result of this min value? So the result that we obtained are 3, 2 and 2. Okay. So out of all these values, whichever is maximum that he has to pick up. So what is maximum? 3 is maximum. So 3 is selected as the value at A. Okay. So this is the final value. So that we have obtained. So now come, come here. Okay, so here, what is the result that we are obtaining? Okay, so all the min values on all this, you have to apply an argmax. Always argmax will give you this maximum value. Okay, so the maximum value is 3. That is becoming the value of the root node. Okay, so this is about the minimax algorithm when we have only two players. So this is also a two-ply tree. That means it has two levels in this particular tree. Next, coming to a multiplayer. Okay, so here you can see we have three players A, B, and C. So now, always we will start with the terminal, right? So why we are starting with the terminal? So this is the depth first search tree. Okay, so always this gain trees will follow the DFS strategy. So we will start moving to the last branch. And here, if you observe A, okay, so at the end what we have, we have A and here, here we have two alternatives and here these labels belongs to the optimal decisions that are made by three players. The first value is for A, second value is for B and the third value is for C, okay. So previously a single value is returned because we have two player, either one of them will win, but here we have a three player. So in this case, we will store it as a vector instead of a single value, all the vector of values, value of A, value of B, value of C. So it will be stored like this. So now, so this is the result at this particular node and this is the result at this particular node. So from here, coming back to the previous level. Okay, so here, if C has to win, what should be done? He has to see that the result of his decision is optimal when compared to the other players, other opponents. So why it should be more? Because if his value is more, other players cannot attack him and defeat him. So otherwise, if they have higher value, C will lose his game. Okay. So now out of these two alternatives, so, so here C has got a value of 6. And in this alternative, C got a val optimal value of 3. Which one he has to pick? He has to pick the vector in which he has got the maximum value. So out of these two, he will pick 1, 2, 3. Okay, so this was the decision made at this particular node. Okay, and similarly here. Here also you just see in whichever the value of C is higher. So here in this particular alternative, the value of C is higher. So this was taken as the decision at this particular node. So the decision we will be marking with a cross mark. Okay, so now similarly coming to here. So among 1 and 2. Okay. Among 1 and 2, 2 is a higher value. Actually, if you observe here, A and B, B is having a higher value in this particular one. But still, he, C has to see that he has a greater value. So, among the optimal values that he are, has obtained, 1 and 2, so 2 is maximum. So, he is selecting this particular alternative. So, similarly, among 1 and 5, 5 is max. So, he is picking up this particular alternative. Okay, so these are the possibilities if we C has to win. So out of this, which is the best alternative for C? Only this particular one is a best alternative for C. If C has to win. So now let's move on to B. Okay, so when B is playing, the two the alternatives that we will be seeing is this particular level. Okay, 
So now here he will see that E is having a maximum value B. So okay, second value is for B, right? So here the optimal value that B, that B has is 2 and here 1. So which is maximum? 2 is maximum. So he will pick this particular vector that is 1 to 6. P is picking. Next, coming to here. Among 5 and 4, 5 is max. So this particular vector will be chosen by B. Okay. So this is the strategy B has to win. So now coming to the root node. So here, who is the player playing? A is the player. Okay, what he has to do? He has to see that he has a higher value. Okay, so where he has a higher value? So if you observe the values of both A's, okay, so both are equal. So he can pick on any alternative since it is GFS. So always it will choose the first one. So 1 to 6 is picked on. And this is the final decision that he has. And if C has to win, he should see that he will pick this particular alternative. If B has to win, he will also try to pick this particular alternative. And if A has to win, he also is picking this particular alternative. Okay, so this is how the optimal decision will be taken in multiplayer games. So among the choices, whichever value is high for, for that particular player, player, so he will try to pick it. And at max, he will be seeing that other players are not having a value higher than that particular player. player. If not possible, among the alternatives, whichever value is optimal for that particular player, he will pick on that. Okay. Hope you followed. If you have any queries, please let me know in the comment section. And here I am following Russell Norwin textbook. Okay. So if any clashes with some other uh, universities, please let me know so that I can try to put your slide, your textbook content also into the slides. Thank you.